Warriors looks like a team. And the Clippers starting five. George and Leonard are the forwards. Norman Powell is out there with Harden. And it's Plumley in at the five. Home in the paint. And for the Lakers. They've got LeBron James. He's out there with Prince. Cameron Reddish is out there with Jordan. And it's Reeves in at the one spot. After all the hype in the offseason, Brent, it's nice to finally get a feel for what these teams are all about. Well, Kevin, you know the hype train around the NBA never stops rolling. So this league has grown in popularity globally. Seems like another jump over the past three or four years. People get built up and torn down at such a large scale. That's such a challenge for today's players to stay focused on the task at hand. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. George dishes to Leonard. Puts it up from 17. Drain for two points. Now, you don't try to search out the mid-range jumper in the analytic gauge, but Kawhi Leonard does, and it works. James, the pass to Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here's Harden. He kicks it to George. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. In the early years when Paul George came into the league with the Pacers, you wondered how his frame would fill out. It's filled out nicely. The Clippers shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. George, no good on the free throw. One thing you marvel at, the consistency of Paul George, year in and year out. I wonder when Paul George, Greg, goes into the offseason, if it's more tinkering and sharpening all those skills, or if he's trying to add something. Because I don't know how you add anything to how versatile a player he is. Now, here's George. After Torian Prince's miss, George passes to Leonard. Fades. And that one hits back iron. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Back to LeBron. Two points. That one goes. Great awareness from LBJ. Great at slashing off the ball. Open space available. He filled it. James against Leonard. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. It's two on one. Back to Jordan. Passes it to LeBron. And the top by LeBron. Coming off the pick, Jordan often takes this himself. Crosses the D up that time. It's Harden with the drive, and the shot goes in. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Stolen by Harden. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. That one's off. He's now one for two. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Tipped away. Powell with the steal. In the corner, George with it. Harden out. Side. Top of the key. Again, the miss by Harden. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Clippers team. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. And guys, this first meeting always sort of sets the tone for how the rest of the season series will play out. For teams that know each other this well, this initial game is a big one. Now here's Powell after LeBron James's miss. Powell finds Plumley, fires the three. 
they getting cold in here? This is this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Here's James in the game against Orlando. Very impressive. Down to five on the shot clock. A shot by Reddish, no good. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. What a powerhouse move from Kawhi getting right to the rim. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And a new year and a new team for James Harden. Greg, he's on the move again. Harden felt his time in Philly was up and needed a change. Philly found the deal for him. And now here he is, still an elite talent when he's on the floor. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. You look at the Cavaliers. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And when you look at the Lakers, they love the situation they're in right now. Playing very well, but looking ahead, they know there's still a lot left to play. Wow, Prince has a little daylight, and that shot looked yeah. true. Clippers trailed by three. Harden outside. Outside, Leonard shoots the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Jordan's got four rebounds now tonight. Reddish with the ball. Powell's there. A shot by Reddish. No good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Powell. Lakers with the rebound. Down low. He's guarded by Plumley, And Jordan gets it to go on the assist from Reddish. Well, sometimes Reddish might defer too often. And maybe sometimes that's true. But also, give him credit for being unselfish. Here's Plumley, And the shot is good. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Lakers leading by three. And here's LeBron outside. The rebound by Harden. Clippers have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. George looking over the floor and stolen by Prince. Now the Lakers on the break. Pops it up for Jordan. And Jordan spins it home. Well, you won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Awesome oh, rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Pass to Harden. The fader. The rebound by Jordan. Jordan's got rebound number five here tonight. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Now here's Prince. Tries again. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, how about we check the numbers for D'Angelo Russell? And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Lakers? So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Davis has checked in for James. Hachimura comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Russell in for Reddish. And the rejection by Zubats. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help all the shots. Gabe Vincent, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Mann's checked in for George. Jordan against Zubats. Jordan, the pass to Hachimura. Ooh, nice job seeking out space from the screen. Hachimura played that to perfection. Clippers trailed by seven. Here's Harden, and it's blocked by Jordan. They get it back. 
Zubac, no good. Just doing the job on the backboard. The Lakers have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Here's Mann. Now Tucker. Here's Harden. Pass to Zubats. Kicks it to Tucker. Clippers moving the ball around. Harden the pass to Tucker. Shot clock at five. Man can hit. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Nine point game. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. The Clippers shooting 33% here in the first quarter. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And, Kevin, really over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. Jordan kicks to Davis. Back to Jordan. Down low. That's good from Davis on the assist from Michael Jordan. And the Lakers lead by 11. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Looking to get it going. Zubac the best to Harden. Over Vincent. Dishes to Westbrook. Here's Tucker. And the three ball is good. Nice catch and shoot timing from P.J. Tucker. Lakers leading by eight. Outside Russell. Davis in the corner. Back to Russell. The pass to Jordan. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Jordan's got 14 points for the game. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And the jam by Harden. Oh, get up, James. Talk about a guy who scores from all three levels. Pass to Vincent. Hobbs it up for Jordan. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop to the paint. Two minutes remaining. In the and that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. Oh, so close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy. <laughs> Setting the floor for the Clippers. George and Leonard are the forwards. Harden out there with Powell. And it's Plumley in at the five spot. And the basket by Harden. Oh, and the D. You got to get out on that. Or Harden will make you pay. Here's LeBron. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Here's George. Another one falls for the Clippers. Came into the league when the mid-range was popular. Game shifted to three, and PG said, I could do that too. Here's Reeves, guarded by Harden. Can't cash in from close range. Clippers trail by seven. Outside for George. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got five assists tonight. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Jordan outside. And the dunk by Jordan. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. The Los Angeles Clippers coming to this one after the win against the Magic. George dishes to Plumlee. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
LeBron kicks to Prince. Back to James. Pass to Reeves. Fires for three. James cooking from deep. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Here's Harden. And the layup is good. Harden's got 11 points. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Jordan the pass to Prince. And the dunk by Prince. Nice job running the screen and roll with some patience there as Prince had great timing. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against the Magic. Harden with it. He's picked up by LeBron. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. That free throw good from Harden. Greg, there has been some talk of having overtime play to a target score. Well, Can you make the case for that? I mean, yeah. I mean, more certainty on how long the broadcast will go, right, Kevin? And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result right, in those man. games Ooh, that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. Here are the top distributors from last season. These guys always seem to find the open man. James Harden, number one. And it was the kind of season that he'd like to repeat over and, and over. Nobody was better at creating easy baskets for their teammates. Reeves the pass to James. And here's Reddish. Still yet to score. Lobs it up for Jordan. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And here's George for three. And again, no good by the Clippers. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to oh, find confidence. Oh, always a surefire oh, way oh, to get back in the game. That's his and load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury took care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. That free throw good from Reddish. With such a versatile forward that can defend and shoot and score. Reddish's game has future all-star written all over it. And so Powell will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by nine points. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. That'll be game two of four straight on the road. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Definitely back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. And it felt like Powell had the shot, but good job of feeding the open man. Reeves the pass to Jordan. To the inside. James slams it in. There are only two players in the league who could hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. And the Clippers have possession. Outside, George. Outside, Leonard. Harden outside. Shot clock at six. Had the space there, but it's offline. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. Clippers trail by 13. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Reddish. To the middle. Here's Prince. Plumley with the rebound. 
Plumley's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Powell. It's good. Morning, the assist that Powell. time from Harden. Assisted. Harden's James got six Harden. assists now in the game. Uh, Norman Powell has a lot of strength, and that time he played to it. Prince can hit. It's not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. And Lakers. foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. A two-time Finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard. Brent, he's shown he can dominate at the highest of levels. And when he dominates, he dominates every facet of the game at his peak. Kawhi is one of the most impactful players this game has ever seen. And Kawhi pretty solid from the line, and there's been a natural progression to him being effective from the free throw strike. Powell kicks to Harden. Good on the three-point shot. Harden's got ten points in the quarter. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's at two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. That one falls. Just can't give LeBron any opening. If you do, you're torched. Clippers trail by nine, and the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And Jeff is providing all the playmaking here tonight. Let's look at the breakdown between the front and backcourt for the Clippers. And their guards are taking on the majority of the passing and assisting for the team, just as you might expect. The bigs doing their part by getting to good spots inside and making themselves available. Harden gets the button. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Lakers leading by seven. James dishes to Jordan. Inside, Prince. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Jordan's got his seventh assist here tonight. Harden outside. A fadeaway. Basket good. Leonard's got nine. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Here's Prince. Here's Jordan. My slam dunk by Jordan. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. The from and the passing ability James of James Harden. Elite. LeBron with it. Now guarded by Plumlee. Lakers leading by seven. Kicks it out to LeBron. George against Prince. A second chance effort. LeBron outside. Goes up again. The shot comes out. Great D that time from Leonard. And it's Harden with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And it's just never easy to get stops in this league. But they had a smart game plan defensively. And I felt like that was the difference. Well, good defensive game plan and then carrying it out for 48 minutes. That really helped them out in that last game. Here's George. And Plumley kicks to Harden. Trains it from beyond the arc. Harden's got 21 in the game. I think there's just no limit to Harden's range. Even from way downtown, this guy is a threat to score. And the Lakers call time here. And Brent, an interesting aspect of Mason Barnes' game. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Los Angeles. That's the end of the first half. For the scores, the Lakers, 58, the Clippers, 59. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. LeBron James is out there with Jordan. 
Then it's Reddish. And it's Satorian Prince. Norman. And it's Reeves. And it's the one. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. Pass to Reeves. There's the dish to Jordan. Feeds to James. And LeBron throws it down. Still a force, LeBron looking ageless on that one. Clippers trailed by nine. Now, here is Harden. 11 feet away, and it's blocked by Jordan. Here's Reeves. About one minute played here in the second half. And the rejection by Leonard. One of the most versatile defenders in the NBA. Kawhi Leonard getting all of that one. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Here's George. He's got ten. He kicks to Harden. The pass to Plumley. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got assist number eight here in this one already. Lakers leading by seven. Reeves the pass to Jordan. To the inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on George. Torian Prince has such a great motor and the physical nature of his play. you got to appreciate that aggressiveness. Second free throw, no good. Clippers trail by eight. It's Powell on the wing. Let's it go with a three. Jordan with the rebound. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Prince against George. Leonard looking around. Man, let's see Lincoln. some of the numbers here for Paul George. He's coming off an excellent season. Put up about 23 points per, five assists, and six rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. The first one falls. Leonard hits them both. Lakers leading by six. James with it. He's got 15. The basket counts. James has got four points now in the quarter. Going to work now from the mid-range. LeBron's going to take whatever the defense gives him. Harden the pass to Plumlee. Drives to the hoop. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got nine assists now tonight. Lakers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Jordan against Plumlee. A shot by LeBron, no good. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Oh, wow. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Why typically solid from three, you're not sure you want to leave him open like that. And the Lakers call time here. Man, you're team. All right, a chance to check out stats for Lakers. Last season, he played outstanding. And he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. And who could defend him last season out there? Defenders tried to body him up, play a little physical. But time and time again, he drilled the three anyway. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Passes it to Plumley, And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, if you're going to commit a shooting foul against Plumley, do it when he has a high percentage look inside. 
The Clippers have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. A year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Pass to Prince. Jordan outside. The feed now to James. LeBron going to work inside. And LeBron still a force inside. Size, athleticism, it's all still there. Here's Leonard, and it's blocked by Jordan. And is out of bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Plumley finds Leonard. George with the bounce pass. Harden, that's good. We've just seen these massive leaps from Paul George throughout his career, particularly as a playmaker. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Floats it up for James. And LeBron throws it down. A great feed. And that assist gives him a triple-double. You, you got to love that kind of player. Able to get it done in just about every facet. Leonard on the wing. Back to Plumlee. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from Jordan. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Clippers trail by eight. Leonard on the wing. Fades back. The Clippers keep it alive. Dives for it. And so the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. Lakers have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Back to James. Leonard with the steal. For the finish. And it's Leonard with the jam. Uh, and the claw at work. Just one reason why he's always a threat to lead the league in steals. Jump starts the fast break there. Pass to Jordan. Down low. Reed. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. That's his first. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. And guys, how about the unselfishness? And all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. All game long, they've just done a great job of keeping the pressure on the defense and penetrating with the pass. They've gotten everything inside, and they've converted there. Clippers trail by nine. And the Clippers call time here. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. Yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Zubas is checked in for Mason Plumley. And now, it's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast-break teams from a season ago. The fourth spot held by the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible change. They get the rebound, and it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position, Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. Scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. Mm, emphatic on the putback stuff. Now, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. Here's Harden. And that one is off. Good D by James. To the middle. Here's Jordan. Good. And a nice assist from Prince. Jordan's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Clippers shooting in this game, 45%. Harden the pass to Zubats. Kicks to Powell. And they get it. There's another block. And that's nine blocks. And you know he's going to be coming hard for that 10. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Cameron Reddish. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the Clippers.
Here's Westbrook. And stolen by Russell. Here's Reeves. Here's Jordan. And the shot goes down. Jordan's got 30. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey there, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard continuing to work his way back to peak form after his ACL terror during the 2021 playoffs. He said, I missed a whole year of basketball. I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm just trying to live in the moment and bring a sense of energy to the team. I'm still young. I'm a lot stronger. And I'm back. So... Kevin? Yeah. Good to see, D.A. Hey, thank you. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. And some changes here for the Lakers. Substitution on the court. So with George on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. Harden out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Powell in at the small forward position. And stolen by Prince. Last break, the Lakers. And it's LeBron missing. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. 15-point game. And we continue to see Leonard and his patience being able to deliver the ball. Lakers shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Over to the left wing. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. A shot by Reddish, no good. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And the pass to Zubats. It's Powell on the wing. Defended by Prince. Lock at six. Leonard against LeBron. Impressive fadeaway right there. Leonard's got nine points now in just the second half. And that's usually a solid strategy. Get the ball into Leonard's capable large hands and let him go to work. Short and the rejection by Zubats. To the paint. And Kawhi Leonard Kawhi with the slam. Leonard. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. And rising up off the ground. Reeves the pass to Jordan. Inside, here's Harden. And Harden with the stuff. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. A drive by Jordan. And then Jordan slams it in. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply flying. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. It's Powell on the wing. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got his eighth assist in the game. 
Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this one. Finally got themselves in the trenches. Momentum completely shifted now. We've got a tight one here in the final period. Jordan dishes to LeBron. And slammed up by Jordan. And that time the screener rolls and Jordan has room to get the shot he wants. Makes a good decision to keep that one himself. Now Westbrook. He takes it in. And Westbrook throws it down hard. The adjustments they've made offensively. They're putting guys in a position now to succeed. The possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. Jordan the pass to Prince. Tries again. And Jordan with the nice bucket in zone. Jordan's got 36. And they've gotten very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. And he comes up with the deuce. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Jordan passes to Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. Yeah, this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Powell inside. Working on Prince. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the back. Taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Clippers trail by 10. Here's Harden. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And this is Harden especially. One of the best in the league at drawing contact and yet still able to convert. The Lakers have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Reeves the pass to Jordan. To the inside. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's Harden on the wing. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Cam Reddish. It's just so difficult to guard the beard without fouling. Harden is constantly seeking out contact. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for James Harden. And how many times have we seen Harden at the free throw line in his career? I mean, the man lives to put pressure on the defense. And Jordan throws it down. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. To the wing right side. Here's Westbrook. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. And Jordan sends it back. Here's Reeves. Passes it to Reddish. He dishes it to Jordan. To the middle. Here's James. And James throws it down. This is what James does. He scores the ball and does it in so many different ways. And the Clippers have possession. They trail by 11. And here's Westbrook. Down low. Zubox. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the Lakers get called for the foul. The free throw drops for Zubox. The effort level from Zubox is something that the coaching staff and obviously his teammates greatly appreciate. Night in and night out. He's giving you his all. LeBron kicks to Prince. And the dunk by Jordan. Nice job cleaning some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. Pass to Powell. 
And the dunk by Powell. And how about Powell to the people as Norman gets up for a loud two points. Stolen by Zubac. Leonard against Prince. Fade away. Again with the block. What a defensive performance. 12 blocks. Well, he's shutting them down right now. Ron is just dominating right now, aware of the defense, and has not feared one since he came into the league. Goes right up with it. Harden the pass to Westbrook. Over Reddish. It's blocked, and he recovers it. And it's Leonard missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got 42 in the game. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Clippers trailed by 13. Now here's Westbrook. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Lakers passing it around. And the officials call oh, goaltending. So they'll award the basket. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. And the Clippers making a change here. George has checked in. Here's Westbrook. Powell, no one around him. And that no comes off the Powell. assist by Russell Westbrook. Rebound. Powell's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Outside, James. Jordan kicks to LeBron. It's Prince on the wing. Pass to James. Here's Reeves. Back to James. Leonard with the steal. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Westbrook wide open. He fires. Nice open look, but it's no good. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. And it's Jordan with the jam. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Here's Westbrook. Zubac trying to break loose. Russell, that one's Russell. good. The Laker lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Russell Westbrook. There's the pass to Prince. Out to the wing. And here is LeBron. Outside Jordan. LeBron, no luck. And that's an important rebound, especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. And that one drops. George has got nine points here in the second half. How about the handles of a guy like Paul George at his size being able to rip around and has total confidence in his ability to score. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. It's a 10-point game. It's stolen by Reddish. Here's Prince. And the rejection by Zubac. Prince against Westbrook. Outside, George. Driving in, and it's blocked by Jordan. It's Prince on the wing. And again, the Lakers no good. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. And he gets it back. Here's Jordan. And Jordan throws it down. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. And it's Paul George with the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. James Harden, he's checked in for the Clippers. James Harden. James with it. From outside the arc, drills the three-pointer. LeBron's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Lakers. 
and this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as James the ability to close. Harden. You really got to give it up here for the Lakers. They really lit it up in this one. Fantastic offensive performance. Definitely. Just simply shot the ball well. One of those games to be proud of. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight, tonight's win will give them four on the season. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Michael Jordan. Not sure what else the coaching staff could ask for. He contributed in every facet of the game tonight, racking up a triple-double. Unbelievable performance. He's got a quadruple-double. Looking at who's out there. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away from the win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanking.